I'm really hoping this video turns out how I want it to. Really, the second, the second I start filming, my cat's gotta cause a ruckus. Hey guys, can we not? <sighs> Mamas, stop. So I have so many ideas in my head for what kind of content I wanna make and I figure the best way is to kind of break things down into maybe series and go from there. So I'm starting with a new series. This is gonna be called the Body Series. Body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. So in the Body Series, I'm going to be sharing my tips and tricks for certain skincare routines. I'm gonna be dropping a shaving routine for you, but we're gonna start with my tanning routine. And I'm gonna be sharing a very foolproof method that I use that I think a bunch of people can benefit from. I see people posting videos all the time and sharing their self tan routine and they just put it on their bare skin and they say nothing else is needed and I'm like, no. So in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through my self tan routine and sharing some tips and tricks along the way. These might be well known secrets. I don't even think they're secrets, but I definitely think that maybe some people don't know about this and they just go applying this stuff on bare skin. I'm also making this video because I am now changing up the product that I am using. I have been using the saint Pay. I think it's the Express Tan. It's like the one to three hour self-tanning mousse. And although I love it, and I love the results. I feel like the chemical reaction my body gives to that product makes me stink. Does that make sense? Like, I don't stink naturally. Like, I, I'm sure I do if I'm not showering, but even with a shower, this product would just make me feel like I had BO and it would make me super self-conscious and I hated it. So now I'm kind of trying out different products and I figured I'd make this one into a video and share with you the results. So we are trying, I was in Ulta and I saw this tanologist express tan self tan water in dark and I figured I'd give it a shot. So we're just gonna jump right into it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like me and you wanna keep watching these videos and you wanna watch this series and comment on if there's anything else in the body series you would like to see. I have two videos in mind so far and I'm looking for a third. So if there's a third video you would like to see with tips and tricks, please let me know. Otherwise, Thanks for watching. Okay, you will notice some common themes in this body series of tips and tricks that I give you because step one is going to be exfoliate. Exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. I cannot describe this enough. If you really want a smooth, soft skin all over your body, you need to be properly exfoliating it and not just exfoliating it right before you self tan. I'm talking like every two to three days, you should be exfoliating, whether that's, you can use a sugar scrub or you can use a body wash, whatever your skin is tolerant to. Generally for me, because I have very tough skin, I like to use a dense brush and you can use it in the shower, you can use it dry. I kind of do both, I alternate, but I found the easiest way for me to like, scrape off all the dead skin, because that's essentially what you're doing with exfoliation, is to take a hot shower, dry off, and then buff out with a brush like this. That is the best method for me that I've found, like leaves my skin super soft. I'll explain it all in my next video because it's gonna really come in handy when we talk about redness and razor bumps and ingrown hairs. So in addition to exfoliating a couple times a week, I will also exfoliate the day before I self tan. Exfoliation, step one. Step two, we're gonna moisturize. Right before we use our self tanner, I'm going to apply any lotion that you like. I use Bath and Body Works because it smells amazing. I like to put this on my elbows, my hands, my knees, my feet, and my face. The reason you're doing that is you're essentially creating a barrier cream for your skin that typically gets dry in areas. So when you do apply the self tan, it's not going to apply directly onto the skin. Does that make sense? It's going to leave a very a blended look because if you don't, what I've found is like if you put self tanner on like your elbows and you don't put lotion under it, it's gonna get crusty and dry and it's just gonna like kind of blend into how your skin already looks. So moisturize, I'm telling you, this is the key that has made my self tanning routine flawless and so simple and easy. So I'm not sure the best method to do this on camera. So I'm just gonna kind of sit here and moisturize my knees and be generous like this. See if you can see it. Now I'm gonna be putting gloves on, so I'm just using this for an example right now, but like you can be super generous with the amount of lotion that you use on those areas. It's not a big deal. The more, the better. I'm putting some on my feet right now. I've been trying to make this video for like a year now, but it's like I can't be naked and I don't wanna be naked. So like trying to show you guys everything without 
actually showing you guys everything, you know? So step three for me, I, again, not sure people do this, but I always wear gloves when I go to apply my self tanner. I do my hands last, that's how I get around like not leaving a splotchy area and I'll go and reapply lotion on my hands once I take the gloves off. But I found this is the easiest way to not just get your hands covered in self tanner and make it look, you know, splotchy and orange once your everything is said and done. So these gloves, I have like a pack of 500, you can get them at any beauty supply. I think you can even get them at pharmacies, but like you can get a pack of 500 off of Amazon. I'll link it down below. What we're gonna do, or what I like to do, is this is just a Saint Tropez mitt, but you can use any mitt and I'll find a mitt on Amazon and send it to you because Amazon will shit. So I'm gonna read you the description of this. Transparent self tan water with advanced tanning technology for a hyper real, super hydrated glow. I'm interested. Personalized results in one to four hours for a spectrum of shades, increased time equals increased tan. So if you tan for one hour, less tan, tan for four, tannest of the tan. I've already used this for one hour and when I like to try out new self tan products, I like to start with the smallest amount of time first and then kind of grow and build it over a couple days just to like, I don't wanna jump into it and then be orange. I guess the difficult part with this product specifically is that because it's clear, it's hard to see the area of coverage that you've already gotten on your body, but I found that this blends well. So it's not really an issue. So I'm just gonna show you on camera. I guess the only downside with this is that you should be standing like on a towel when you do this, especially if you have like tile or hardwood floors because this stuff will, end up on the ground and you might slip and fall and die. We're gonna just, you have to kind of be generous with this product I've found because it tends to like dry pretty easily, but it's as simple as, watch, this is the one time my self tanner ends up being super splotchy because I'm not doing it in the way I normally. I usually start with my legs and work up, but we're starting from the top and working our way down. I also forgot to mention, when you're applying it all over your body, I avoid my hands and my feet. When I'm actually applying it with the mitt, I'm not putting any more product directly onto my knees or my elbows. I'm definitely not even touching my hands or my feet yet. So I'm gonna do my entire body and then I will come back. Also, if you were looking to do your back, my ex never liked putting self tanner on my back in the areas I can't reach. So I found ways to just do it myself. And that includes this amazing mitt. I usually will, with the spray, I can put it directly on my back, but with a mousse, I usually will put some on the mat, flip it around, and I will just show you. Ooh, it's fucking genius. So anyway, this is also off Amazon. So I'm gonna finish my entire body, come back and then tell you how I finish up the rest of my routine. Cause now we're gonna go in, I'm gonna show you how I apply it on my hands, my feet, my knees, and my elbows. I once again reapply with a generous amount of lotion and I take a makeup brush and I will go over it. I can't show you on my feet, but I will show you on my hand and I do the same thing on my feet and my knees and my face. My hands are a little bit slippery because of, and I will literally, just to get in those cracks. I will go over it and then I kind of bring it up into my arm just so it's like kind of blended out nicely and this trick has always just never failed me. Don't touch the palms of your hands at all. And you could really use a makeup brush for your, your entire body if you wanted to. I just think that that would take a lot of time. Same thing with my feet and I'm just bringing it up into my legs. Can you see it? That's gonna look terrible, I'm cutting that. And then I will do my face. And then any leftover, I'll then go over my knees and my elbows. And the last step before it's sitting still and letting it develop, I will take a damp cloth, go over the palms of my hands, my nails, I broke my nail, let's not talk about that for a second, and just get any product that might be on there that we can't see off of my palms. And I will do the same on my feet. And then we're done. So what I usually like to do once it's like developing 
is I'm gonna take some baby powder and put it in the areas that typically get sticky. Some baby powder, and then just, hmm. And then I do behind my legs, behind my kneecaps. I'll do my coochie. You're not seeing that right now. And then I'll let it sit and develop. So this says one to four hours, honestly, because I said I did this a couple days ago and I only did it for one. I'll probably do two hours and then I'll shower and then I'm gonna come back. I'll probably be done up by then. So I'll come back and then I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks for extending the longevity of your tan to the best of your ability. I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. Well, seriously, damn it. I told myself after I got ready, I was gonna have enough time to like explain and like show off my tan and see how much of a difference this is. But now I have to walk out the door because I took too long to get ready. So I was just gonna check in, show you kind of what it looks like. I have no splotchiness, so it's all very smooth. It has been, I started it at 12 and then I will rinsed off at two and it is now six. So it has been four hours after I've washed it off. Um, and like I said before, it's gonna continue to develop over time all the way up until the next day. Like I'm gonna progressively get darker throughout the night. It's a little bit weird. The one tip I did wanna share since I was just doing it is moisturize constantly. I'm constantly using lotion or like organic coconut oil sometimes, but just a little bit. Uh, and just constantly knees, elbows, just keep that skin hydrated. It'll make your tan longer, but it'll also help your tan fade so it doesn't get all like crusty and gross. That was it. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you guys soon and see you tomorrow. Now I gotta go.